Today I'm going to be going over how to install Pomelo, a switch emulator for iOS devices. Um, there's going to be three methods to install this. You can use Troll Store, a paid developer account from Apple, or a free one. The easiest one is by far Troll Store, but in this video I'm going to be detailing how to install it using a paid developer account from Apple. Later uh, in the week, I will be showing how to install a free account. It just takes a little bit of setup. So um, I'm just gonna be using the easier method to show right now. So to begin, all you're gonna need to do is figure out wherever the latest IPA file is and just install that. Um, put it wherever you need it, just to make sure you know where it's at and then just sideload it as usual, any other sideloaded app. As you can see, uh, Pomelo has successfully finished side loading. So just go check it and make sure it's launching properly. You won't be able to launch any games from here. Uh, it'll crash instantly. You are going to have to enable some extra permissions. So either click the link in the text setup on the Pomelo page, or just go to idmsa.apple.com and sign into your uh, developer account. Just put your uh, password and sign in and it'll redirect you to your identifiers. So as you can see, Pomelo is there. Click on Pomelo and let it load. See, it'll um, ask you to edit your app ID configuration. So you're just going to scroll down and look for extended virtual addressing. And then you're also going to want to click increased debugging memory limit and increased memory limit. Click save and then confirm. Now just click on Pomelo one more time to double check that your certificates have successfully loaded. And um, obviously they have successfully applied. So now all you have to do is go back to your home screen, delete Pomelo, confirm your delete, and then just sideload it as normal. So as you can see now, Pomelo has successfully sideloaded again. Just click on it, make sure it's launching properly. And then now all you have to do is go into your files, import your keys, ROMs, shaders, whatever you used in the past for a Switch emulator. You've gone through this process before. I'm not going to say exactly how to do that because that can put my video in some hot water. So just put all your files that you need to put into Pomelo. And now um, I will be showing a video of it working properly. This does require JIT. There is no option to just try to purely run off hardware. Um, you are going to need a debugging service, whether that's through uh, Xcode or JIT Streamer 2.0, Jitterbug, whatever you use, any JIT enabler works. So now I am running the UTM virtual machine that I showed in a previous video, launching Pomelo. And once you're here with um, JIT enabled and Pomelo on, you're just going to want to go to about and make sure your entitlements are correct. Make sure at least increased memory limit, you are going to need that to run this app or it'll just crash just like it would without JIT. And so now you're done with the setup. You can launch games. You are going to need JIT whenever you launch this application to run the games. But as you know, there's on device enablers now, so that's pretty easy. Uh, the rest of the video is just going to be a showcase. Enjoy. Let's go! 